1975 sci-fi monster karate movie directed by Sean Hua and starring Inframan, Wicked Dragon Mom, Giant Flying Lizard, Driller Beast, Octopus Mutant, Laser Horn Monster, Emperor of Doom, Iron Fist Robots, and Giant Beetle Monster. The film opens by giving you a seizure. <laughs> then we encounter a busload of kids waiting to be hijacked by Scorpio. <laughs> Dr. Chang finds out about the shit hitting the fan and decides, fuck it, I'm going to try and watch the Playboy channel. Sir. There's another report. It says Mount Devil has erupted. Mount Devil? That sounds like a great vacation locale. It's weird. That volcano has been dead for a thousand years. Why should it erupt now? Hey, better late than never. Surprise! We then hear from Wicked Dragon Mom, who says that she is going to take over the Earth with her collection of monsters. Lieutenant Quan. I need a computer printout on the princess. It's important we learn all we can of her. To the Google! Meanwhile, here's some more destruction and fire. Chang holds a meeting where we get some background on the evil mom. The princess is a creature of antiquity. Ten million years at least in age. She looks good for ten million years old. Wicked Dragon Mom has her own staff meeting at the same time. <laughs> Hope I'm not expected to take this shit seriously. The doctor looks for a way to fight enlisting Rayma to become Inframan. To achieve this, a vast network of parts are inserted throughout the living cells. Wait a minute, I thought you had to be butchered or some shit to get a robotic upgrade to save the world. Or Detroit, at least. And he will destroy those monsters, sir. I want to be the one who saves the Earth, Inframan. Rayma. You'll have to go through the sufferings of hell. You haven't been to Walmart on a Saturday night to buy Fago and Doritos, my friend. Rayma strips down, gets injected, and has more wires hooked to him than a 1999 home theater system. Is Michael Myers watching them? Back in the villain's lair, this actress has her outfit gaffered taped to her tits. Wicked Dragon Mom calls for a couple of monsters for a mission to attack Dr. Chang's base of operations. <laughs> These guys look like generic He-Man villains. Hey, it's Turd Man! You teleport these guys to your office, yet they have to walk there. They attack and kidnap Lu Ming, even though I thought they were supposed to kill everyone. It sure was nice of him to seal up that hole I made. Then the tentacle dude starts attacking the base. I guess he planted himself or some shit. People start dying horribly. I mean the deaths are horrible, I mean the acting. Meanwhile in the lab, his face! Rayma's body then begins to get replaced by a matte painting. <laughs> that was shocking. With the power out in the lab, Dr. Chang is upset because he can't finish cooking his hot pocket. What's happening? An attack! It's serious! A huge tentacle monster has broken in! Our power supply's gone! Gone? You have just one minute to get it repaired. Rayma's life is depending on it. Uh, I guess he's fucked then. Something happens so we don't see him, we get an underwhelming transformation into Inframan. <laughs> Rima, 
Now you are full of power and energy. Chang looks like he's very moist right now. Oh. That's Inframan! 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 He's here! How the hell do you know what his name is? Is that a CAT scan of an anus? Here's some fireworks, fucker! Back in Teletubby hell! Tu Ming! Huh? You do as I say! Or you'll be dropped into a bottomless pit. Oh, I'll take the pit. Wicked Evil Mom then proceeds with brainwashing protocols. Don't forget to update his iTunes so his music library can be all fucked up. Hey, Four Eyes! Back at base, Inframan is given Thunderball hands, making me wonder if this thing influenced the Mega Man game series. Two Ming returns. Let him rest. He's so tired, he's asleep on his feet. <laughs> yeah. I swear I'm perfectly all right. I'm, a, I'm okay. Yeah, he looks great. They take him to rest, but he's going to pull off some sweet sabotage. Oh, what happened? It was Two Ming. He's in there. That guy sounds pretty good for just being knocked out. Then we get a nice chase sequence. Whoops! This thing shows up and they have a fight. Then there's a surrounded situation, but the good guys show up for mass chaos. <laughs> This monster is really eager. What the hell came out of his mouth? Rayma switches to the Inframan and encounters the horn laser monster thing. In your face! The monster grows, but so does Inframan and they have a big boy fight. Do you know how much that building cost? Then he takes the first step. Ugh. Wicked Dragon Mom then goes for base destruction again. Someday Daddy said he'll create an imp for a girl, and if he does, I'd like to get changed into imp for a girl. Oh, you could be, but you see, it takes a lot of strength and bravery. Don't you think I could be imp for a girl? When you're older, I guess. There's some sequel bait for you. And should Chang's family be hanging around with all the death and destruction going on? The kids find a cave and discover the monsters preparing to blow the place up. They get captured, more people enter, and there's more capturing. Rayma gets alerted as they light the fuse. Come on, let's watch the fireworks from outside. <laughs> no, you get a better view standing next to the explosion. Inframan saves the day, then uses his Thunderball fist. Turbman arrives and kidnaps Chang's daughter as the gang decides to attack the lair of the wicked dragon mom. She demands Chang come alone, which means he gets to go boating with low-rent guar props. Upon his arrival, she says that to save his daughter, he must surrender his operation. <laughs> Then Tu Ling gets barbecued. I'll stop him. I can easily. I already know how Inframan gets his power from the sun. And so I intend to blow out clouds into the atmosphere. Who the fuck is he, Superman? Outside the lair we get a big fight and a couple monsters raising hell. Inframan gets wiped out by the smog blocking out the sun and the fight continues. <laughs> At this point, I'm just watching a counter click down to zero. Inframan gets captured and dropped to his doom, but hangs on and comes back for more fighting. Then another monster shows up for more fighting, leading to Inframan being frozen. He thaws himself with fireworks and we get more monster fighting. Then we get a Groundhog day S decapitation.
Inframan shoots her in the heart and they escape the lair, saving the Earth. Yay. Papa, are the monsters ever going to come back again? Only if there's a sequel. Produced by Kung Fu Kingpins, the Shaw Brothers, Inframan is a cross between a karate film and a monster film. The film opens strong with an interesting concept, but it loses its luster as the continuous fights and the same attacks keep going on and on and on, leading you to intense boredom at the end. I'm not going to attack the plot because the print I saw was a television broadcast from the mid-1980s, so it's kind of hard to tell what they cut out of the main film. I will say this copy I saw had a ton of plot holes and characters that really had no introduction. They just showed up. It could be the film or it could be sloppy TV editing, which was common with foreign films of the era. Inframan's kind of film where you don't expect much. I'm pleasantly surprised that you underestimated it. But you get disappointed once the film falls on its foam latex face. I'm willing to do anything to be in for a girl. Oh, you are, huh? huh? What are you doing? You're nothing but a coward. Uh